Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how we can add document library as a tab in Microsoft Teams. Not only document library, we can able to also add list and pages as well. So let me just open the SharePoint site. If you will see here, here is my SharePoint site. Uh, finance site is there which is having a policy documents document library and employees list as well even i have some pages in the pages library as well so now what we'll do is we'll go to uh, the teams here you can see and here uh, you can go to a channel where you want to add the items on this and if you look at it there is a plus button is there you can click over here and you see sharepoint is there so you can even if you will search for a sharepoint you will see a uh, sharepoint as pages as well so that means if you want to uh, add any pages, you can select this and then it will show you uh, all the pages which are available on this. You can see here and you can add it. You can click on save and then you can see here this pages has been displayed it here. Same way you can click here and then you can click on this SharePoint and it will show you uh, the SharePoint site. You can see here this is the current site and then there is any SharePoint site also you can choose so from this current site you can see there is pages there is list libraries so you can select this suppose you want to select this policy document click on save now this will come as a tab here you can see and it will load the items as well uh, meanwhile it is loading let me just go through another approach how we can add it you can go to the files tab and then you can uh, click on this three dot here and then you can see plus add cloud storage here if you'll see sharepoint is there click on that and then use a sharepoint link you can post the you can put the library url there so if i'll just go here and then i'll go to the policy document i'll copy this url and i will go to the teams again i'll just put the link here click on go and then click next uh, now you can see this is uh, in fact you need to provide the site url and then click on uh, uh, next and then add as a folder so every time this will uh, add as a folder here you can see here finance underscore policy document finance is the site name underscore and then your library name and if you will open this you will be able to see uh, the columns whatever are there and from here you can work you can add columns like how you are doing in SharePoint list you can see the views you can modify it everything you can do it from here and anytime if you want to remove a tab you can just click here you can go this and you can remove the tab from here so just to let you know that uh, whenever you will go to the files tab by default the document library will be there uh, like any uh, list will have any site will have a library you can see here this documents document library and this will come by default in that so anytime you are adding anything so it will go to the general under that it will create a folder and within that you will be able to see your list and libraries here you can add columns you will the columns will be visible any custom columns will be there metadata columns those will be visible on this approach so i'll suggest if you want to uh, add as a tab kind of things you can uh, select this option as well here you can do all the operations how we are doing in the sharepoint site so if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel you will get a lot of free videos on sharepoint uh, microsoft 365 power platform and spfx so thank you and have a nice day